What I want to talk about tonight mainly is your kids' relationship with you. I heard this great story about a mother who was arguing with her 17-year-old son. And it started with something really small, but then it started to escalate. And by day three, it was monumental. And he was calling her Hitler in a skirt, and she was calling him useless. And anyway, the whole thing had gotten out of control. And eventually, the young man, he put his hands on his hips and he said, well, if I'm that bad, then why did you have me? Hmm, she had to think. Why did I have you? Why? Oh, that moment of, it wasn't just that moment of passion. Why did I decide to have a kid? And she looked at him and she said, well, actually, we didn't know it was going to be you. <laughs> we were kind of hoping for someone with a job. And, and, and as, as silly as that sounds, the reality is they don't ask to be born and you don't know what you're going to get. So it's a bit of a package, isn't it? And your job as a parent, you're given the authority and the responsibility from the day that child is conceived to take them through to adulthood. You've got two jobs. One is to help them see their strengths and their values and the future and the vision and keep them hoping for the, the future. And the second is to stop them going off the rails if you can. Yours is to open the front door to the dream open wide and to close the back door to dysfunction. And that's not easy. And you've kind of, kind of got to keep your eye on both things. So you're trying to discipline at the same time as you're wanting to speak positive things over your children. And that's really important is to speak what you want and not what you've got. It's very easy when you're in a place of conflict or a place where things are just a bit dead in the water that you can be focusing on the things that you don't want. And it just that whatever you speak, of course, you're reinforcing. So that's a discipline is to say, OK, if I want things to be better, I need to know what my kid's character is. I encourage you to think of three strong character traits in your children that are really genuine, believable, and speak them over your children as you see them doing things that resonate with that character trait. Acknowledge it. Because as it's acknowledged, it's believable because it's true, and they can then go, oh, you're right and they'll build on it. And as they build on their good character traits, some of the character traits that they have that are not so good, they may just be immature, or they may be something that's quite a weakness that needs to be dealt with. But the stronger the good ones get, I guarantee you, the ones that are not so good will dissipate somewhat. 